deadbeat mom and child test positive for drugs. Thank you, Your Honor. The department you haven't called the case yet. Oh, I haven't. Okay, I'll call cause number eight five two three one L two. In the interest of the Francisco child, we're here on a status hearing. Ms. Gutierrez is with us for the department. Mr. Ingram is with us representing the child. Mr. Carey is with us representing the parents. Ms. Dean is with us, and it's been announced that Mr. Francisco is currently incarcerated in the Randall County Jail. All right, that accounts for all the parties. No one in the waiting room. Uh, Ms. Gutierrez. Thank you, Your Honor. The department calls Shay Carnes. Okay. Ms. Carnes, if you'd raise your right hand, you swear the testimony you give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Ms. Gutierrez. Thank you, Your Honor. Shay, who do you work for? I work for St. Francis as a permanency specialist. And what do you do? And what does a permanency specialist do very briefly? I am the caseworker for the case, so I help with the family plans, um, trying to get the child back home with their parents. And are you assigned to this case with Dax Francisco? I am. And are his parents Leslie, Dean, and Johnny Francisco? Yes, ma'am. Did you file a court report for this hearing on September 11th of 2024? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, we request that the court take judi judicial notice of that court report. All right, so noted, and I have read that report. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Shay, are there any updates on Dax since the filing of that court report? He's doing well. There's no concerns right now. And does he continue in the placement with his maternal grandparents? Yes. Thank you. Um, now, is Leslie visiting Dax? Um, not at this time. And why is that? Um, I was unable to get in contact with them, but then found out they were both um, incarcerated for a little bit. And then we're going to work back out visitation um, as soon as we're done with this hearing. Are you aware of any bond restrictions against contact with DAX for them? I am not. And are you going to check for that before setting up visitation? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any knowledge of what they were arrested for? I know for Johnny. And what was that? Um, he had a child endangerment and then I believe a possession from the past possession charge. Here. Have you prepared family plans of service for the I have. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And do those family plans of service, do they represent the department's reasonable efforts to reunify the family? Yes, ma'am. Do they aim to mitigate the reasons for removal? Yes. And are they tailored to the issues in the case? They are. And very briefly, what were the main issues involved in the removal? Um, the drug use, and there was a domestic violence brought up as well. Okay. And are these service plans uniquely tailored for each parent? Yes, they are. Can you please identify two or three services that are uniquely tailored to Leslie and why? And we're going to do an OSAR assessment with her and then a substance abuse program for the drug use. And then I have her signed up for a domestic violence class as well, um, due to the investigative report. Okay. And can you please identify two or three services unique to Johnny? He has the OSAR assessment and drug as well, um, due to his drug use. And then we'll do the domestic violence as well with him. And for mm -hmm. him, what, what service is specific for domestic violence for him? Um, I believe it's this the domestic violent, I'm sorry, domestic violence course through Troy Timmons. Okay. Is it a BIP course or something different? It's the BIP. Okay. And what does BIP stand for? Batters Intervention Prevention Program. And that Parents were ordered to drug screen at the last hearing. Um, did they comply with that order? No, ma'am. Okay. Did they eventually drug screen, though? 
I have not got one from them. Um, we have the investigations drug screen, but that's it. Okay. And has the child been drug screened? Yes, he has. Okay. And what were those results? He was positive on the hair follicle. And what was he positive for? Have um, the parents given you any explanation as to why they did not drug screen as court ordered at the last hearing? Uh, no, they have not. Ms. Cairns, have you been provided um, our proposed exhibits for today in your email? Yes. yes. Okay. Would you agree? Um, and Your Honor, I offer the department's exhibit number one, the drug screen results on Dax Francisco. Give me a second here. All right. I don't have them. I have some for the Garcia hearing today, but I don't have these. But uh, it's a drug screen on whom? On Dax Francisco, the child. Okay. All right. Any objections? All right, petitioners one is admitted. Your Honor, I next offer petitioners exhibit number two, a drug screen results from Johnny Francisco. All right, objections? Objection. Right. Petitioners two is admitted. And I next offer petitioners exhibit three, drug screen results on Leslie Dean. All right, objections? No All right. objections. Petitioners three is admitted. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Shay, have you had an opportunity to look at those drug screen results? Yes, ma'am. Would you agree um, that the date on Johnny Francisco's specimen collection was August 13th of 2024? Yes. Okay. Would you also agree that he was positive? Yes. And regarding Exhibit Three, would you agree that those drug screen um, those drug screens were collected for Leslie on August thirteenth of twenty twenty four? Yes. And would you agree that at least one of them is positive for? Me? Yes, ma'am. Are we asking for any ad additional drug screens to be ordered today? Uh, yes, please. Are we requesting your analysis drug screens on both parents? Ah, uh, yes. Are there any other updates for the court? Uh, not at this time. Pass the witness. All right. Uh, Ms. Carnes, are you asking for only UAs on both parents? Yes. Okay. Please. Because I'd ordered them to both Hairstrand and UA at our last hearing on August 12th, but you don't need a you don't need a hair on we can't get we can't oh, get anything on. I don't know when they last hair, hair stranded. Yeah, it was August, so I have to wait 90 days. Okay, so. well, yeah, I don't have to, mm -hmm. but if you don't. If, oh, yeah, if, yes, sorry, I apologize. If you don't. <laughs> I apologize very much. No, if, if, you don't, I know you. If, if you don't, if you don't need them today, then I won't order them, so, okay. We'll just do the okay. UA, please. Okay, I wasn't trying to be a smart aleck, I just. No, you're <laughs> fine. <laughs> okay, all right, Mr. Carey, do you have any questions? Uh, just briefly, Your Honor. Uh, uh, Shelly, it's your plan after the hearing to get in contact with Ms. Dean uh, and work toward the visitation and services as you've discussed? Yes, sir. All right. Do you have contact information for her? I do. All right. I'll pass the witness. All right. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Cairns, I forgot to ask you, too. Would it be a continuing danger to the physical health and safety of the child to be returned to either parent today? Yes, sir. And would it be contrary to the child's welfare to be returned to either parent today? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Ingram, questions? No questions. Okay. Ms. Gutierrez, any follow-ups? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Shay, did both parents sign the service plans? Yes, ma'am. And did you review the service plan with each parent? I did. No further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Okay. All right. If anyone else have anything further for Ms. Cairns? Nothing further. 
All right, then. Um, Ms. Gutierrez, did you have any other witnesses? No, we don't, Your Honor. We rest. We just ask that those urinalysis drug screens be ordered for the parents. All right. And we, we understand we can't get one from, from Mr. Francisco as long as he's incarcerated, do we? I kind of, I thought Mr. Carey said at the end of his announcement regarding that, um, that Mr. Francisco had bonded out. I may have misunderstood. Mr. Carey, do you, is Mr. Francisco currently in Randall County Jail? Yes, he's in Randall County Jail. Mrs. Dean had bonded out, but but Mr. Francisco's in jail. I, I can, I, I'll, I'll work that into my order. Okay, all right, then Mr. Carey, do you have any witnesses? Uh, no witnesses. I'd like to call you on. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ingram. Any witnesses? No witnesses. Okay. All right, Mr. Ingram. Recommendation: Continue apartment temporary managing conservator. Continue placement as is. Child's doing well with the grandparents. Okay. Okay, then uh, I will continue the apartment as temporary managing conservator. Continue uh, Dax's current placement. I'll order the services for each parent as contained in their service plans. I will make the findings uh, of reasonable efforts that Ms. Gutierrez, I don't know if she requested them this time, but I will make those findings that she usually does. Uh, I'll order uh, Ms. Dean to UA drug screen by 4 p.m. today at Care Express. I'll order Mr. Francisco to uh, drug screen by 4 p.m. Uh, the day following his release, if he's released from incarceration, that would also be at Care Express. And I'll order that both parents' visitation will be suspended until each provides the UA drug screen that I've ordered today. And I, by each, I don't mean both of them have to have done it. If Ms. Dean uh, provides her, she can have visitation. If Mr. Dean does, he can. They're not tied together is what I'm trying to say. So, okay. Um, Ms. Dean, if you would, please unmute for a minute. Yeah. Can you yes, hear sir. Me? Okay, thank you, yes, ma'am. All right, I need to admonish you that the services contained in your service plan become a court order today. At a final hearing, mm -hmm. if you haven't worked those services, your parental rights could be altered or terminated. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Mr. Carey, also, if you talk to Mr. Francisco, would you give him the same admonishment? I'll do that, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. All right, our next hearing will be the initial permanency hearing on January 13th, 2025. That will be by Zoom like today's hearing, so parties and attorneys can go on the court's online docket a day or two in advance of January 13th to see exactly what time we'll have that hearing. Okay, uh, that will conclude this hearing. For those of you involved, I'll be back at 1030 to call another Randall County case that.